Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We are on Season 3, Episode 6 and 7. We last left off on a really good episode dedicated to Gemma Simmons, best character in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And where we kind of left off was that Gemma and Fitz are going to find a way, I guess, to go back to that planet. My current predictions of where this show is headed is that Fitz and Simmons are going to open up another portal to that planet. And whatever that monster is that's there, the... It was very scary. When I was editing it, like, early in the morning, <laughs> the little astronaut that goes like that, oh, I hated that. I had to relieve it with that, uh, COD Zombies thing. I don't like that. Oh, that was terrifying. But whatever that thing is that can transform into other things, it seems like, or, like, take the form of dead people, because I was a dead astronaut. Maybe even the dude we know that was nice to, to Simmons and all that, maybe he's that monster. We've never seen them on the, the same screen together the monster and the guy, so I don't know. But I feel like when they go back there, um, they're gonna bring something terrible back. Maybe even the guy that's there right now died and he's gonna take the form, the monster's gonna take the form of him. The episode is called Among Us, I'm just, I'm just saying. But yeah, I'm feeling like we're gonna have to blame Fitz and Simmons for something bad that's gonna happen this season. We also saw May's ex-husband get killed last episode, but not really, we didn't see his dead body, we didn't see his face. We barely saw his shoes, and I made a prediction that maybe he turned into, what was it, Lash? And that's why the kid was so scared when he ran away, little Hitler Jr., and then the building blew up. I think I'm piecing it together. I think that could be possible, but Andrew might be dead. Anyways, lots of predictions. Let's see what happens in these next two episodes here. I keep forgetting we're at like the very beginning of season three, and like the real plot points haven't all connected yet. They haven't come together. I don't really know what this season is going to fully be about yet, but I feel like some bad things are coming on the horizon. But anyways, if you've been enjoying Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out all the other reactions on the channel, leave a like on the video, become a member if you want to watch early episodes. And that's about it, let's hop into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, he really did get blown up in there, okay. Well, that would have been an insanely cool thing if he got revealed as Lash. Just saying. But here he is. Agent May? He's alive. But like, why would he be at the same time? It didn't really make sense. Maybe it's the bald guy from the ATCU. I had a headache, I needed something. One of my students was there. It's, uh, mm -hmm. I had two men with him. My experience is He said he had a headache. That probably won't lead anywhere, but I just know these writers at this point. They want me to look into every detail. I've just arrived. Phil. He, had a he was there? Telling me. The man saved my life. Oh, huh, I wonder if that's what actually happened. I'm wondering if they're telling the truth there because, like, why would Colson have an agent tailing Andrew at all times? Just as protection? Or was he investigating him or was there even an agent at all or i don't know that seems kind of suspicious to me good then put me on it let me go after him are you back <laughs> yeah, i'm back <laughs> okay she's gonna go after ward good she deserves to last was tracking us he knew where our truck was he he needed mm -hmm. info for that you think he's got access to ATCU information? No, I... I think he's in the ATCU. Hey, I mean, it could be the bald guy. That's what I'm saying. What if he's hiding out as one of them? That's a scary thought. I've got Rosalind giving me a tour of her operation today. Let me see what I find there. Looks like he's going on a date. Well, she's training, getting back into shape. Hey! Oh, Help. man. Hunter nearly cost Andrew his life. And he was doing it for you. I, I feel terrible. You were egging him on, letting him fight your battles for you. It's your fault. If I it is not her fault. You're upset. Huh. Oh, this is good practice for Bobby. <laughs> no, you guys don't gotta fight. This is in no way Bobby's fault. If she was there, she wouldn't have gone so gung-ho like Lance did. So you can fight your own battles. 
Is she recruiting her? <laughs> okay. Sure you were mission ready. Excuses, excuses. You lost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she probably was recruiting her. Wheels up in 20. Welcome back, Agent Morse. <laughs> okay, I like that. She was a bit aggressive, though. Calm down. You're not going to say the thing? You already know. Don't die out there. That's the thing, right? I know. Four men on the scene, Whoa. but only three bodies were recovered. It's like the Death Star in here. Two Hydra guys. The fourth guy was one of Andrew's students. That's his ID, but it's an alias. He's not Alexander Braun. He's Werner von Strucker. Wait, von Strucker? As in Hail Hydra. Everyone just turns around and looks at me. <laughs> if you put an untested youth in play without proper training, it's foolish. It boggles the mind, really. Your father understood. Why are they hiding this guy? Who is he? It's more important than flaunting them. He never let me in on that stuff. I have no idea. You were nicer to me than he it was. It's like a whole reveal music, like a da -da -da. Why don't I recognize this guy? So does that mean you'll help me? I know I'm supposed to. I'll handle everything. Okay. He'll handle everything? Right. Just have them get started. I'm on my way. Turn around. We need to head back. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. It's an emergency I need to handle. We'll reschedule. Take him on the mission. Come on. No, they're going to track him back to his place. So, this is the part where you get out of the car? I don't think so. You can't. Not where I'm going. Oh, so we're not sharing information then? Because you kind of just made a whole thing about that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Take Dr. Coulson will be joining us. Let's go, finally. Tour, tour, tour. We're going on a field trip. I just thought you could use some help. I've got it, I promise. I just need to concentrate. Doesn't make it a good idea. That's why I said portal bad I idea. I think I should help Simmons rescue Will. Do you think you should? He's the competition. If your girlfriend's ex wants to visit from Phoenix, you do not buy him a plane ticket. That's really specific. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> they have some Arizona stories. They said, "Did that actually happen?" AT. I'm not sure that's right, mate. Yeah, no. Th there's lots of ways to spell Caitlin, and <laughs> I've never seen it spelled like that, though. I think a better name would be McLovin. I think that one's pretty catchy. Lash. The Inhuman Killer Monster. Oh right, I heard you had a run-in with him. Glad you're okay. That is what I don't understand. Why am I okay? He kills in humans. It was very weird. Why spare me? Uh, it's a tough one. I'm still trying to put together an inhuman psych profile. I mean, that makes it seem like it's someone close to her that actually knows her and looked at her and then didn't attack and just went back and transformed. Now, it could be of the commands of Rosalind, like the bald guy wouldn't attack her because they know she's a good inhuman. She's not someone that's out of control or anything. So maybe the bald guy in the ATCU that turned into Lash had demands to not attack her. Or it is someone close. Could be Coulson. Could be Andrew. I really don't know who else it would be. It could be Mac. Wait, no. Have, no, we, we, okay, no. He was in the truck at the same time. Oh, that would have been huge. If he wasn't there, I would totally think it's Mac. I have this checklist going in my head of who it could be. I'm down to basically two people. He's got access to everything the ATCU learns about in humans. We should tell him. Already got a van ready to go. Full surveillance package. They think Infrared it's him scanners, too. One way glass. Perfect. Let me get some things. I'll drive. I mean, please. <laughs> he just needs something to do. <laughs> they look so different here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Box 38. That's crazy, whatever that is. Guys, I think you triggered an alarm somewhere. Great. How much time do we have? Uh, oh. Looks like zero. <laughs> okay. Um, this payday heist, not going so well. <laughs> My boss would like to congratulate you. What? Your security system is top notch and your team is incredibly efficient. Just what we'd hoped for. <laughs> We've been reading up on you. You're only earning 4% more than you were in 2012. We can do better. She's just reading into him on the spot. Fitz is going crazy too. 
外交官用。他不觉得。Does one of them speak Mandarin? 用我的办法。<laughs> I think that guy might have, <laughs> might have been catching on. Sorry. Okay, yeah, it was it was pretty good. Good heist. Looks like the guy was scared away by your、uh, very impressive security system. All right, if we take a look around. Of course. Not you. This is very unusual. Okay. Hmm. Just randomly, when she goes on a, I was gonna say a date. They're actually not going on a date. I just had canon that I guess. Now I'm actually thinking that's real. Now a random break-in happens. That is that is weird. New furniture. That cop's not real. <laughs> Holy! Where did you get? Don't touch my things. You weren't listening in when I talked to the cop. You're slipping, Phil. I thought you'd definitely be scoping things out. I think he gathered some information. Oh, that's a weird place to live for someone so high-ranking. Random apartment. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We have to be stealthy. If he catches you, we're toast. There must be some way we can keep. What? Do you... Oh my gosh, dude! What? He's gonna fake rob him, or? Oh. Come on! Oh my gosh! With an icer? Yo, why does he always? <laughs> so much for stealthy. I don't like him making these rash decisions. Decisions so quickly all the time. Ever since we got introduced to him, Coulson, he's working Rosalind, and you just shot her number two. When she finds she out, she won't. That's what the bandana's for. Lash is an inhuman. Inhumans have markers in their DNA. If we test Banks's blood for markers, we'll know if he's inhuman or not. Do you know Lash is inhuman though? It's not like he could be Cree. I mean, they'd find the Cree blood, I guess. Yeah, blood test either way actually is good. And this isn't a med lab. We don't have the equipment to draw Banks' blood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Blood. All I'm saying is that you've been through something extreme. There will be after effects. Sound familiar? Wow. <laughs> It's eye-opening being on this side of the counseling. They mean well, but the more they try to help, the weaker you feel. Mm-hmm. I know you haven't been in the lab, and I hate to ask you to do work, but if, in fact, I can handle it, actually, whatever it is. She is much happier this episode. <laughs> she sounds different though. Why is she like whispering in a way? Something called Endotex Labs in Gaithersburg. We could check it out. What do you think? Well, we got time before Simmons comes back with results. What about him? We could take him with us. I I've been trapped in a moving vehicle with Lash before. Endotex、I、Labs. The idea of it happening again. Maybe he's not a human, or doesn't have any weird thing about his blood, though. Maybe he's just a creation, a weapon, or it's not him. Unusual for thieves to break in and not take anything. Lucky me.、You've、yeah, that's、right. why I said it's so weird. If you were looking to what even happened? Sympathy from me, soften me up, say. A stage break-in might be one way to do it. Interesting. Also interesting. My home had a break-in for the first time ever on the exact day you knew I'd be out. You're trying to make me like you, working me, ever since the Thunderbird, humanizing yourself. She's gonna be like, I have a husband. I like this relationship. I gotta admit, the bat. That was a nice touch. Triple Crown winners. Autographs from Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams, Frank Robinson, Carl. Hey, the bat is not. And burgers. I think you're questioning her. DJs. What possible What? reason would the head of the ATCU have? That's your favorite place. Be me here with that. Fine. Let's go see the facility. He still wants the burgers, though. I know it. I think he was questioning her a bit too much. That was a bit too harsh. But honestly, is it is all very weird. <laughs> like the break-in and everything. What actually happened? A penthouse in Lisbon, Portugal. So I did a sweep of passengers arriving at the Lisbon airport. He went through customs several hours ago. Nice work, Fitz. Thank you. You're welcome. So we go to a penthouse in Lisbon. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Shield is looking for him, which means so are you. I know where you can find him. And you'll just tell me that. Why? Sometimes you sacrifice a player to save the game. You just remember when I come calling that I chose a side. 
All right, they're setting up this Malik guy. Pretty sure he's probably from like Winter Soldier or like Avengers movies. I don't know. Go dwarf, go. Go dwarf, go. Human Marcus, he's not inhuman. So he's not Lash. Really? I was huh. so sure. I mean, he still could be going off my theory, but at this point, it's probably Andrew. It's an odd situation. Yeah, it's one of the oddest, even for us. Yeah, it really is. You will, you'd understand, I promise. You. Gemma, that's the thing. I am gonna know. It's not even a question. Fitz is responding the, to this really well, really, really well. Unless he's lying and the simulation worked, and he, he you know. Oh, he's studying up on him right now. I forgot he's a real person. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> Banks wanted to be here for a delivery of something. Wonder what it is. I don't know, but they're probably gonna see Coulson. It cloaks. Yeah, very nice. It's like a little spider bot. Locked up. Uh, wait a minute. What is that? I don't. A wooden box. I hope it's not an inhuman in there. <sighs> is it? Oh God. Is, is it? it? No, they're monitoring him. He's alive. Ugh. But in some kind of what? Uh, coma. This is HTCU. It probably looks bad. In cages. Don't tell me that's like amber. <laughs> get a better shot. Don't tell me they're frozen in there. Coulson. <laughs> As he's like smiling. He's on the field trip. Don't interrupt his field trip. Come on. It's not like he knew about this beforehand. It's like an thing. And it probably looks worse than it is. We can get without giving ourselves away. Maybe it's like a prison cell. Maybe they did something really bad. I know how it looks. He should be freaking out. Because you just see someone in a box, but what it really could be is a really terrible person in a box. See, not so bad. It doesn't look like it. Well, bring back the dwarf. Make sure we're not discovered. Uh. That's a cool factory, though. Like, the way those move. What is it, some kind of suspension gel? It keeps them in stasis. Alive, healthy, just... Asleep. That is, that is Amber. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not gonna keep making these references unless things like that happen. And it's just funny seeing it. Come on now. People, uh, you're safe. Your loved ones are safe. You can go home. It's like putting someone in a medically induced coma to make them better. Imagine doing that for someone who has no other shot. I guess. But I like Daisy's way of helping the Inhumans in other ways. Dang it, I'm sorry. The apartment wasn't hers, it was like her son's or something. Big baseball fan, I'm guessing. My husband. Her husband, okay. <gasps> After this. No, no, it was years ago. Before, you said that you thought I wanted you to like me. Yeah. <laughs> but that part might be a little true. Oh, <laughs> I think I like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did we just cut to? We were having such a good, happy moment in that facility. Oh, jeez. The Black Widows are here. Good. Oh, they're just killing him like that? I guess he's not dead, but we got here so quickly. This guy doesn't stand a chance, I'm sorry. He's one of the pawns that has to be killed off. I just have a feeling Bobby and May are not gonna get out of here. I have a feeling this guy's bait or something. Strucker, where do I find Ward? No, please. Oh. <gasps> oh. I've taken down men three times your size, girl. That's pretty bad. That couldn't have hurt. Oh, jeez. Through the water? Like, the water just makes the force so much worse. That couldn't have hurt that bad. Oh. Oh, no, that's crazy. Dang. I tried to do what War wanted. I tried to kill him. Oh, she's gonna kill you. 
I didn't know we changed him to that thing. <gasps> oh, oh. I guessed correctly. That is insane. <laughs> oh. Yo. That's crazy. He did run away from that place really scared and it went through my head. Oh, I'm so glad I'm right about that. But why? Why is he lush? Oh. Did he eat fish oils? Dang, they're just getting to it all in this one episode here. So that agent really was there? Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is a cool transformation, actually. Lash still looks weird to me, but the transformation sequence makes a lot of sense now. It looks really cool. Ah, what does he do? Rip their souls out? Give them free therapy? No, did he blow the place up? To hide his identity? Wow, and he knows he's in control too. I thought maybe he would just like, it would transform and then he'd pass out and not remember. No, he knows. So when he was talking to Daisy and everything about Lash, but That's not oh my. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> wow, they did that so well. Ah, oh, I need to see other people's reactions to that part. Cause I feel like, it's a hard thing to guess, but maybe not. Maybe I just, I think I'm good at this. <laughs> yeah, join up with her, please. I actually like Lincoln and her Keep now. Keep your head down, okay? I don't want this thing to I find I see you. it. Do you have any friends out there at least? I'm not as many as I used to. How much longer till the call is traceable? 15 seconds. I like how they keep reusing that throughout the entire show. It's like one minute calls are traceable. What if that timer will ever go down in the future. I don't know. That's been brought up since season one. Nope, back to square one. I'm less scared of Lash now though. I don't think he'd like, like the music changes when we see him here, but I'm not really scared of him now. Hey, did Lincoln tell you where he is? I mean, he'd be safer here under our protection. I know, but he doesn't believe me. He won't tell me, but I'll let you know when he does. Does he want to? Great. He wants to kill Lincoln. What is Lash? Is that still him? He's angry. I don't know. I'm confused now. I thought maybe Lash could be like maybe an alter ego. Like a complete different person in him. Or he really just wants to kill Inhumans. Or as that one guy said, send them back to where they belong. So he's sending them somewhere. So wow, he's really close to like that one lady that can duplicate herself. The way he was looking at her in that room and everything, it all makes sense now. And him giving therapy to inhumans and all this, he could just at any point kill them. Keep them in check. If they're saying anything crazy in therapy, just go after them. Stop them. I don't know. What is his ultimate goal here? I wonder if he has to kill inhumans to survive. That would be the only thing that makes sense to me. Or that he's not in control of Lash, but he knows he transforms into it. But yeah, if he has to like get their soul out to survive or something that would make a lot more sense because i don't see him as just like a terrible person that wants to kill all in humans yeah there's no motivation there so they they're gonna have to explain that but i'm um, really glad that it's not just like us that knows about this now may knows bobby knows like shield is about to find out and he's in their base right now now i gotta go back and watch the hospital lash scene and see was he trying to kill Daisy and Lincoln? I, I don't even remember. I just know. I just remember Mac like shooting him a bunch. Okay, a lot happened that episode. Where they, they were able to fit so much plot into one episode and I love it so much. Like really, like four different scenarios are going on. We got May and Bobby. We got Lance Mac and Daisy. Coulson and Rosalind. And then we got like Fitzsimmons stuff going on. We got back at base, um, Andrew. Just roaming around, doing stuff, talking. We even got some Hydra stuff. Like, there was a lot that happened this episode. Really. They fit so much into 45 minutes. It's crazy. And it doesn't feel, like, rushed or anything. The only rushed part was, like, we were in the compound having a very nice scene. I really liked the, the um, banter between Coulson and Rosalind a lot. 
that might be one of my favorite things this season right now. And then it instantly switches to Strucker on a rope getting stabbed and Bobby and May breaking into the room like they already were there all suited up and everything. It's the only like rushed part, I feel, but not really, not really that much. It was just like a harsh scene switch, I guess. But no, they're, yeah, they're really good at that. They're really good at fitting a lot together. Anyways, let's hop right into the next episode. I'm super excited. Six months ago. Oh, is this, yeah, her and Andrew. Oh, he has to eat some like fish oil here or something. Dang, I just want to run in there and take the cherries. Oh my gosh. I don't know Wimbledon is. Those are the best. Hopefully they'll help shed some light on our new inhuman situation. I'll keep you posted if I find anything interesting. And Phil. Okay, so he's been studying all that stuff. Call you. Good advice. Thanks. Oh, oh. It was trapped. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Right then and there, he could have just died. What was What was different with him? Why didn't he? We're not monsters. You can't just lock us up in some ice prison because you don't know what else to do. No one's talking prison. And technically, it's a gel matrix. They're putting people in stasis. Think of it as a medically induced coma. A way to hit the pause button until we find a better solution. He's repeating exactly what Rosalind said, but... Yeah, it's kind of true. Uh... Come on, Daisy. You have to see both sides of it. Some of the people aren't going to want the power. Some of them are going to see them as curses. What if Lincoln didn't want his anymore? Because he's afraid he might hurt someone with it, even though he can train to use it. Like, does she not remember herself from last season? Remember, these people are weapons. While they can train to control their weapons and put them on safety mode, they might not want them at all. I like how he's in the background here just watching the conversation between them. I don't know who he sides with. He hurts in Inhumans. So he's looking at her all weird, giving her the side eye. <laughs> Ooh, I like this dynamic so much this season. Maybe he likes his powers. Maybe he won't want to change soon. I also remember you iced yourself so that you wouldn't hurt any of us. You got That's true. Things. things are getting out of hand. Yeah. What if a person's hurting themselves or those around them? What, what if they can't stop? Take Lash. If putting a bullet in that monster's head doesn't do the trick, <laughs> then what? Yes. We're taking Zephyr 1, picking her up on the way. Zephyr 1, that's the name of the ship, okay. Sure this is I gotta remember that. The bus is way easier to remember. May needs to call up Coulson right now. Joey Gutierrez is due for reassessment. Spill the beans. On him, see how he's progressing. Couldn't hurt. Duh. Your help on this. That's what I'm here for. You're gonna go check up on Joey. Don't do anything rash, Lash. He's so nice. I don't want him to be bad. You did the right thing in telling the truth, Gemma. Secrets can eat you up from the inside. Stop with all this mysterious stuff. <laughs> I was hoping you could recover the data. It's probably pointless. Yeah, no, maybe not. Just thought if you saw for yourself, yeah. Oh, I'm glad he's gonna see the footage. Hopefully, she did take a lot of pictures there. You know what would be crazy? What if, like, he looks on the phone and the, there's like pictures of her with uh, with Will, but there's no one there. Struck her kid went comatose before he could talk. Well, everyone at HQ says. Strucker's still alive then. Okay. And as far as Hydra, we'll get him. Why isn't she calling up Coulson right now and saying anything? Between the Inhumans, this monster we're hunting, and the ATCU on our ass, we need all the help that we can get. Monster? Yeah. Big ugly thing. Yeah, she doesn't know about Lash. That's why, okay, that's why this is so confusing. <laughs> that, okay, that makes way more sense now. I'm like, why isn't she saying anything? She doesn't know about Lash. Oh, May's going through a lot right now. Go she doesn't where? want them to I kill him. Need to talk to Andrew. He's doing a psyche valve on one of the new Inhuman recruits. I checked the containment room. He's not. No, he's at a training facility offsite. Where? Oh no. That is a sick power. I can actually. I will say. Now. Well, no, he's seeing that. That didn't just happen. He can't transform like that. Dr. Garner. Yeah, okay. That's way too fast. Control. Lash has to be a second second thing inside him. It's not just him. Bob, 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 Bobby. Love 
off you. I don't need a knight in shining armor. No. I need you alive. You should call him Lance a lot. Or lose ourselves. Become so obsessed with revenge that we turn into monsters just like him. That is kind of true. Yeah, you really don't need to go after Ward. He's not pressuring Shield at all right now. I don't think I'm gonna add people following Andrew, I guess. Currently not not too much is going on with Grant. Mm, time for their tour. That's actually up to Daisy. She's gonna show you around. Ah. Uh, maybe they can get a little closer. It's working. It's not the same without you here. <laughs> She's smiling. Now it's really setting in. Two moons, they keep disappearing and reappearing, but there's no sun. There's never a sun. Sounds like you've grown to accept that this is a part of you. Yeah, I supposed Honestly. to do that? As a construction guy, the idea that I could build in a day something that would normally That's take true. Months. That's pretty cool. Yo, yo, this is good. He's thinking about it in a, in a job way, not in like some evil way. This is good. I can build. I could do construction in a day. Easy. Good job, Joey. Real. Don't kill him, please. Tear something down. Yeah. If I have to, just like that. Oh, just like that. He's, he said he could tear something down. Fight evil. Oh, now he wants to fight. I oh, no. A real weapon against it. A weapon. Dangerous weapon. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> we have protocols. Take care of them, then go. May you not telling anyone else about this is really bad. I did see Mac leave in the background earlier. This is where he went, I guess. I'm being hunted nonstop. But I'm really only worried about the one who wants to blast the hole through my chest. You're telling me this, why? Because you fought by my side against that thing. It eliminates you as a suspect. That's what I said. <laughs> Lash is in shield. And with your help, I can prove it. He's not lying. I don't know how he knows that, but yeah. And you really think this is more humane? Our goal is to observe people, educate them. And yes, it can take time. But like we don't always have that luxury. But throwing people away like they don't even exist is the answer. That's not what we're doing. Sure as hell looks like it. Well, it's not that simple. It's the same thing hospitals do. Some psycho gets a gun and watch out. But now people are their own weapon. Not everyone is like Some them. is enough. That's all it takes. You only yeah. do the terrible things. Especially when it's random people in New York City getting these pills, like, <laughs> and powers. Yeah, I am on Rosalind's side. I think what they're doing, I mean, either... Give them a choice. This gives them a choice. They can go into the coma state, not lose any of their their own life by going into that. And you know, they'll be woken up once there's a fix and they'll be human again. They might miss out on a couple years, but they're gonna anyways when Thanos shows up, so who cares? Or they can choose to train with S.H.I.E.L.D. and learn their powers, run away and hide, never return to their normal life. That's at least what Daisy said in episode one, so. I like this choice here. Protect people. It doesn't matter. How can you say that? Because for every Daisy Johnson, there's a lash. And it's ignorant for you to think otherwise. Yeah, that is true. The only thing I can see bad about being about the ATCU right now is if they don't give them that choice and they just capture these people to put them in there without a choice, which I think that's what they do. So that's kind of bad. Like, why did they want Lincoln? It's not like they were going to study him or anything. They want they wanted to put him away in, in one of those containers what is gonna happen here <laughs> what you did what i did so some kid says I. he wasn't lying he said you were a monster melinda don't how could this even happen don't oh no he's stop. gonna turn Andrew, please please stop! oh oh my gosh i thought he was about to turn maybe when he gets angry it comes out if i don't eat i won't make it it's hi I don't know why I'm still talking to you. Aww. I still haven't found water. And it's, um, well, I just, uh, I'm having trouble focusing and I'm trying to stay positive. And all the time. No. Never. Aww, <laughs> the way he's responding to the video. There's a small cottage in Persia we drove by once when I was a girl. Some of 
family holiday and I don't know why, but I I found it so lovely. I wonder if they'll ever go there. Mm. What? Where did he take you? Oh, thank God you're awake. I am so sorry. I, I didn't want to hurt you. I, I panicked. What have you done? Huh? Just go and cry. I'll go, go with don't, the ATCU. You can't. Let me go! Don't do that! I don't, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, he can't control it. Okay, okay. Instinct will take over again. Jaing must have rigged it with a Terrigen crystal to keep out anyone who couldn't survive mm -hmm. the mist. But how did you? Lucky me. You just have the blood in you? He's one of the Inhumans? Part of me was unlocked. Unlocked? I don't the know Inhuman. I, I, just, I had to... It was as if I was compelled. I had to be near them. The Inhumans. I didn't know why. It was, mm. just, it was intense. I had this new desire. That's why I took the job. The yep, skin. he needs it. It wasn't until I finally uh. that my body took over and I... I lashed out. <laughs> lashed out. I don't understand that, that power, though. That's like a bad batch of Inhumans. If they're designed as Kree weapons... Why is one of the powers that they can get to kill the other weapons? That is strange. He is the Bad Batch. Hey, he's learning to tie his tie. Maybe she'll come help you with that tie. Oh, look, actually, it's been a while, though. Oh, uh, may I? Huh. Oh. Sure. This is how they're going to get closer. <laughs> you going to tell me what really happened? Because I'm not quite buying this shark attack bit. You're not buying that? One of my men cut it off. <laughs> By chopping off your hand? It kind of had to be there. <laughs> yeah, I would want to explain more, though. Those of us from Afterlife, we were trained to blend in. Afterlife? I'll explain later. And yet that thing keeps finding us. Killed most of my friends. Yeah, she doesn't know all this they info. They gave me names. I checked them against the bodies we could identify. That's how I knew Lash was using Jai Ying's ledger to find us. Her ledger? She kept the genealogy of Inhumans. That makes sense. Yo, this whole thing with Jiayang could have been stopped. If she just handed over that ledger, it had all the Inhumans in it already. Dang. That's exactly what S.H.I.E.L.D. wanted at the end of Season 2. I know who had access. Dr. Garner? But there's no way. It's not possible. I didn't want to believe it either. It's Dr. So Garner. Just saying Andrew has the ledger, you're saying... I saw May access his flight logs this morning. I talked with her. I, she was upset, but I thought... <laughs> I love how everyone's piecing this together. I just got word. He won't always be able to shift between monster and man. He's still... Ah. Condition. Becoming inhuman. This is what's gonna get her to like the freezing thing. They're gonna have to freeze him, so... In human form, so he doesn't turn into Lash permanently. He buys them time. See how he wouldn't like becoming Lash permanently. You've been calling him a big ugly monster this whole time. Some of these powers need the ATCU to, to stop them. I love this. This is a great setup. I just hope they can get him in time. What? Uh... You saw firsthand what Inhumans were capable of. If you hadn't killed that little girl, everyone around you would have I think his anger is heightened. Died, but you saved them. This isn't you. You would never say that. No, Melinda, I know exactly what I'm saying. No, you don't. They need to tell him about the ATC. Oh my gosh. Everyone just needs to share information. It's that aesthetic plot point again. Everyone needs to share information. If he was really a... F oh, Coulson's already here. Still waiting on Joey's reassessment. Bill. <laughs> I was going to say, if he was really afraid of lashing out, he wouldn't have her chained up and him in the room. He would chain himself up. That's what everyone does in the werewolf movies. You alright? We're old friends. That's why I'd prefer to see everyone walk out of here unharmed. But in case you got something else in mind, I'm not alone. Uh, this is stressful. We do not move unless he gives the order. Go. Oh, I like that. I like that. Rosalind's a great character so far. I really hope she doesn't do anything stupid. I'm simply trying to sort the good from the bad. You gave me this job. It's a pretty poor interpretation of a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the judge and the, and the executioner. But I have a moral responsibility. You'll see. Soon. Uh, I'm doing you a favor. No. He's insane. 
It's not His hair changed. Sick. The beast's gonna come out. You can't control it. I think it looks very different. I've only killed those who deserve it. I don't believe that's true. Oh. Who the hell made you judge, jury, and execution? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm down. I have every right. Andrew, listen to me. We can help you. No, you do not. No. Maze. I am the cure. No, you're not. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Don't kill Lincoln. They really gotta get Lincoln on the same page, though. Yo. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Is that a Icer AR? Gotta commit to that shotgun axe idea. <laughs> yeah, that, but that'd be a lot more lethal, though. I think he'll get a shotgun axe. No way you're trying to go in for the kill there. Yeah, he can't control this. We're friends. Or maybe just acquaintances. <laughs> Dang, who's shooting up? Oh, the whole army. Oh, that's terrifying. He's gonna throw him off. Uh. Roslyn. Oh my gosh. I know, she'll be fine, she'll be fine. No, not off the edge. Please. <gasps> oh. Oh, we love Daisy. Look at those powers. Now she's seeing how they could be good people. And she's going to see how they could be bad people because of Lash. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you. I love this. <laughs> oh, he looks pretty cool here. Look at this standoff. It was never as kind and empathetic as you. That's why it was so easy for me to walk away. Oh, oh my, talking him down like, oh, it's like Natasha and Bruce. Oh, he was standing perfectly right, right there. Oh, he transformed that quick. Can't he make portals? Like, can't he just like draw a circle and go out? Or did he disintegrate the wall, I think? That's what he did. I didn't. Dang, she was ready to kill him. Well, I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. He has a hog face. He does have a hog face. <laughs> so look at the logo of the space program he's with. Oh. It's the same. Upside down, they look similar, yeah? Bit of a stretch, man. Bit of a stretch. <laughs> He's new rock stars. This symbol into the chamber door is the same group that sent Will through the port. I thought NASA sent Will through. Could go beyond NASA. Oh. It could be like a long line of things. So it's like a NASA conspiracy. They've been around for a long time or something. Maybe NASA was created in the MCU by people that discovered that monolith of a different planet and then they made rockets to go try to find where that planet actually is. Mmm, that'd be crazy. It'll slow his transformation, giving us more time to find a cure. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't pretend to understand what we you're love that. through, but for what it's worth, if I had the chance to save someone I love, I'd take it. Put him in stasis. It's literally your only option. Or else he's going to be lashed forever. It's a temporary solution. I think we can all acknowledge She's coming around to it. Buy you a drink? Please. That's cute. What do you think we should do about it? For now? Kiss. Let's just watch the sunrise. Maybe she wants to go in stasis with him too. So they can come out together. Hopefully it's not a long time that he's in there. Hopefully they can find a cure. You should think on a grander scale. Oh, it'll be grand. I'm gonna cut off the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because without Phil Coulson, 
shield won't grow back. I really don't want that to happen. I'm kind of scared. This price. I wanted to apologize for missing our meeting at Norad. I will. Oh please. Time is of the essence. I hope she thinks. Oh, I better go. I'll be he's a good guy. Isn't wait? Is he the president? No. Hey. Did he sleep over? I like that, but like, uh, is she gonna get him killed? Does she know who she's talking to? I don't. Uh, I don't want Rosalind to be an evil person. Come on. Coulson deserves some happiness. He's down a hand. He needs someone to be there for him. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Okay. Anyways, so Rosalind said I will bring him to you soon enough, but I don't think she's talking about Coulson. I hope. I mean, it's like the most likely thing. The thing is, that guy, whoever he is, just learned that Ward wants Coulson. Just learned in that one conversation right there. So they wouldn't have already planned this out that he wants Coulson. Unless this guy plans to go against Grant and get to Coulson first before Grant can or something. I think maybe he wants... An inhuman, maybe Lash, maybe one of the inhumans that they have captive. I don't know. Maybe she is selling them off or something. But they could just be talking about Coulson. And uh, yeah, I really hope not. She can't just sell out Coulson like that. I will bring him to you. That is awful. Uh, dude. Come on, writers. Let the ATCU be good. Let Rosalind at least be good. Maybe she doesn't know she's doing a bad thing. I don't know. Coulson's never going to trust anyone ever again if she betrays him. He just won't. He won't ever find happiness. She's a great character. I really like her. <laughs> oh, come on. All in one episode. You can't make me like someone and then hate them in the same episode. Or make me like them finally and then kill them off in the same episode, which they do sometimes. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop doing that. You're playing with my emotions. Anyways, it seems like Fitz is finally on to something. He seems to have a plan of how to get back to that planet so that's at least what he told told Gemma at the end of the episode so we'll be going back there soon I don't know what's gonna happen with the Will character don't know if they're setting him up to be something a love triangle between Fitz and Simmons I don't think so I really hope not I think she genuinely loves Fitz she just wants to save him from that planet but again my theory could be right when they go back there and get him off of the planet they could bring something back with them or Whatever that thing is that can transform into astronauts and all these dead people. Will could be dead now. And that thing could be him when they bring him back. Maybe it was him all along too. Because again, they were never on the same screen together. But it seems like the Lash situation is dealt with. So that's good. Uh, whether it's a good thing for him to be at the ATCU or not. I think it's really good if the ATCU turns out to be what they say it is. They answer so many questions, so many plot points get resolved in an episode here but then they end it with more questions and more unanswered things don't know who to trust anymore now that she was just on the phone with that guy you know this this show stresses me out i think i'm gonna take a month break no not really i kind of just want to hop into the next episode right now anyways that's gonna be it for this one i think i talked enough during the episodes to where there's gonna be a, a lot of that that i gotta edit yeah that is where we stand right now with agents of shield let me know your thoughts in the episodes down below if you've been enjoying, also just let me know down below. Commenting helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. We can get a bigger community, more people here. That would be very awesome to see. Again, if you're not subscribed, but been watching all the videos, definitely consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and helps out the 10K sub goal for 2023, which I really would love to hit. And that's about it for this one. I will see you guys in the next Agents of Shield videos very, very soon.